What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. In this episode of the G Show, I'm going to show you how to easily make some main menu music with a playlist that shuffles, randomizes each time you end up being on the screen, and I'm going to show you how to add a shuffling loading screen. So you can have multiple different loading screens. You can put your tips, the rules, whatever you want. I put some samples of just some screenshots to have an actual loading screen if you would like to use it, of course. So first things you're going to need to do are come to Steam. Make sure you get Daisy Tools installed. Once you have Daisy Tools installed, you're going to have to be able to access the P drive, which is all the game files compiled into a drive. They call it the P drive, I assume, for project. You could kind of rename this whatever you want, and that's not really of issue. But if you haven't extracted the P drive, go to Daisy Tools, click on Tools, and extract the game data. Make note of wherever you put this folder. I put it right on my desktop. And then once you have it extracted, you're going to mount the P drive. I already have this done. I'm not going to example this. Plenty of other videos for that. And you're going to need a way to convert an image to a PAA instead of a .png. It'll be a .paa. You can either use this Arma 3 converter. I'll link this in the description. Or you can get Arma 3 tools from Steam and it'll come with a tool that converts image to PAA. Images need to be 2x1, so 2048 by 1024 or similar. And then you would simply drag your image over that app and it will give you a PAA version of that picture. Once we've done all that, we're going to hop over here on Steam, look up Josie's load screen template, and you're going to subscribe to that. Then we're going to open up the Daisy launcher. It's going to tell us that our new mod was installed. Click over here to your mods folder. Click load the mod. The drop down menu, these three little dots right here, you're going to click those. Open folder in Windows Explorer. I understand. And it's going to bring you to your workshop folder. Once you're in here, you're going to find this mod. You're going to right click. You're going to copy this mod. And we're going to put it in our P drive. So right click. We're going to paste it in here. Now we have our template here with all these files that I put in here. Right off the bat, you're going to go ahead and delete the add-ons folder. We'll be making our own. We don't need it. So now that we've done that, we need to create a mod folder somewhere. Personally, I put mine in my Daisy server folder where I test my stuff. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to make it right here on the desktop to make it easy. So we're going to open a new folder or create a new folder. And we're going to pick what we want to name this mod for this demonstration. Screen test. Open that folder. Add another folder called add-ons. Then we're going to add another folder called keys. Copy the name of your mod and rename this template folder the name you have chosen for your mod. Open that up. Open the config. Now we're going to take that new mod name. We're going to go through the config and rename everything that says Josie's loading screens to our new mod name. Just go down the whole file. This part. won't matter depending on how many options you put in here I have seven different song options here then we're gonna open our scripts folder we're gonna go to three game and click the loading screens we're gonna come through here and do the same thing we're gonna replace 
the name I chose for my original mod and replace it with our new name that you have now chosen. Whoops. That way everything now is renamed to our mod. Control S to save. Never forget. Make it a habit. Alright, now that we are renamed through everything, it's time we start adding our songs and our pictures. Before we actually add our own pictures and music to this setup, open the data file, go ahead and remove all of my custom loading screens that I've added, unless you would like to use them. Leave the .paa that is existing, that's needed for all this jive, right? And then open the OGG folder that I've made. Go ahead and delete all of my music that I've made. And now we have an empty music folder and an empty data folder. Other than the PAA we have left. Now we're going to add our own. I've already created an image. The resolution I'm using is 2048 by 1024. Remember, it needs to be a power of 2 two by one and I already have an mp3 chosen just downloaded the abracadaver song from the call of duty zombies ascension now what we need to do go ahead and put your picture in your data folder go ahead and put your mp3 in the OGG folder for now just to have them in there open the data folder and this PNG that we've just added, we're going to convert it to a .paa. You can do this with the website linked or if you got Armor 3 tools. This came with it. Just drag it over top. Now we have a PAA already in the folder as it does export the new PAA wherever the source is at. That's why we added this in the folder. Then we're going to open our OGG folder. Here's that MP3 we put here. Go ahead and open your Google. You're going to look up MP3 to OGG. Click this top one here. Now all we need to do is drag our MP3 into the web browser and convert it. Once it's converted, go ahead and download it. Open the location and drag that OGG into the OGG folder. Now we have our converted OGG. We can get rid of the MP3 that we added. Now we need to go back into our config so we can add our new call line for our new OGG file. Go ahead and remove all of the song list but one that I've added. Remove the comma if it's the only entry and label it selection one there at the tail of it. Go back to your OGG folder. Click so you can rename. Control C just to copy that file name. Come back to the config and just paste in your name. Make sure you have .ogg here at the end. If you were having more selections here, you would simply copy the line, add a comma, add another line, no comma for the last entry, rename the next selection, and add your new name here. And now you have two. It will randomly select one. Sometimes it will keep playing the same one over anyway. The more you have, the more variety you get. For demonstration, I'm just going to put one for now, but that's how you add multiples. Control S to make sure you save. And now we're done with that file. Now we're going to open our scripts folder, our three game, and our loading screen. Once we're here, we're going to delete all but one, making sure there's no comma unless we have multiples. Never a comma on the last entry. Go back to your data folder to where we had that PAA. 
click on it so you can rename it. We're going to rename that extension to EDDS. Windows is going to ask you if you are sure. You are sure. And now that we have that renamed, copy the file name itself, come back over here to the script, and paste in your new name, making sure .eddS is on the tail, and again, the mod name itself, as this is a path call. If you add more, as seen here, you would have a comma between each selection. Simply name each file, no comma on the last one. For this purpose, I'm just going to show you one example. Now that we have our file, single, multiple, whatever it may be, drag and copy. And then you're just going to replace over this list with the same thing and this list with the same thing. Now you can mix and match and do different ones for different things. Say you want the queue to have points of interest pictures. You want the loading screen to reassure people of the rules on a loading screen. And then say you want your original loading screen a multitude of things. You can do this however you want or you can make them the same. All up to you. Control S to save. And now we're done. We're ready to pack our mod. Now that we have all that configured up, go ahead and delete these. That's just some instructions and whatnot. We don't need that anymore. Open up Daisy Tools. It's time to pack our mod and sign it so we can use it. First, we're going to go to Add On Builder. Give it a second to pop up. Got a couple things we need to put in here. The top one is going to be your direct call path from your P drive to the mod name. I named my example screen test. So we're going to look through the P drive and scroll down until we find our mod folder. We're going to click that and then we're going to click OK. We should have nothing here but the P drive and screen test or whatever your mod name is. Second line is where the mod folder is where we want it to send our PBO. We put our mod on our desktop, so let's open that desktop, find your mod, and then click the add on folder. That's where we want that PBO to go, so you're going to click OK. Have these couple of things checked. I don't necessarily know what this last one does, but have them checked. Now we're going to click pack. It's going to take a few seconds, but if we got everything correct, we'll get a build successful notification. Now we need to sign our mod and make a key for it. So we're going to open DS Utils. And to start with, we need to add a source directory for the PBO that we want to be signed, which is the PBO we just packed and created. So open your mod, open your add ons folder, just drag your PBO to this window, and that's the PBO that we will be signing. And we're going to create a key that unlocks it so to speak so you can use it click this in give your key a name my key for example and I put mine on the desktop as seen before use this authority to sign the files and we're gonna create the key little window pops up says make sure to protect it of course now we have our PBO that we want to be signed the key that we'll be using to sign it we simply click process files click yes if it's done right you'll see a buy sign under your PBO and a green check down here where we clicked process files we're done with this now come to your mod folder open the keys right click your key if you're using a public key and paste it in the folder so we have a copy of it now we have a key and a signed PBO. Now we're ready to publish our new mod. Let's come back over here to Daisy Tools. Go to the publisher. Here's where we upload our mod. So we want new workshop item and we're going to name this. We named it screen test. Again, you will have it named whatever you wanted it named. Choose whether to be public or private. For this example just to be public and this select mod folder we're gonna pick where our mod was at where we had the PBO and the key 
we put ours on the desktop for this example so simply click that folder and there you have it put you a description you can put you a picture in here you're gonna to want to click I agree with the licensing and terms and usages now we're just gonna click publish it's gonna take a few seconds to do its little dance your file size will depend on how many songs and selections of screenshots you have but now we have that done we're gonna click close now we're gonna to go to our steam we're gonna click on workshop and if you scroll down you should be able to select your files and you'll have your new mod here go ahead and click on your mod and subscribe to it now that we're subscribed to the mod open up your DayZ launcher like before go to your mods tab and you'll see you get the pop-up screen test was installed you want to load the mod now we have the mod selected that's just to confirm we got it now we're ready to add it to our server so let's open up our Nitrado server go to your dashboard and go to your general and we scroll down to the bottom and this is where we add our mods on our Nitrado server where it says additional mods we're gonna add our mod name semicolon between each mod at to call the mod and you put your mod folder name that you called it for this example we called it screen test I don't know if it matters if you have a semicolon on the end I like to add one doesn't hurt it but now that we have our mod added in here we're gonna click save changes now we need to actually put the mod and the key on our server so let's open up FileZilla go ahead and connect to the server that you want to connect to we're gonna open the main folder and this is where we want to put our mod it'll go up here with the rest of the at symbol file names so come over here to the left you're gonna find your path to the workshop and then through the workshop you're gonna go find that mod that was just installed we call it our screen test so we're gonna scroll down here find screen test right click that you're gonna upload the whole folder it'll take a second to do its little thing with each individual file you should get a message telling you that it was successful now we're gonna open this folder and on the right side we're gonna open the keys open the keys over here right click your new key my key was the example we're gonna upload our key now that it's installed go back to your Nitrado simply restart your server once our servers restarted let's go ahead and open up our daisy launcher we're gonna to go to mods and we're gonna select the mods that we want loaded I keep CF and community online tools installed and now we have our new mod for our screen test you'll have whatever you have named it but we're gonna have those mods selected go click on servers you can search for your server daisy launcher seems to struggle with that it's usually easiest to direct connect so you want to copy your IP of your server and we're gonna paste that into the address make note of your game port for this example we have 45,000 we're gonna put that into the port and we're just gonna click connect give it a second to do its thing and load up and if you did it correctly you should notice your load screen pop up right away we have the picture of the pig that we added when you back out to your main menu 
You have your music selection here. Hope you enjoy your new load screen. Hope you learned some shit. I'm out.